Hey, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? I'm Sonic the Hedgehog here, and I'm Mario here. We are back for some more yet again for the likes of the Maxi Toys videos. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my last play of Mario Kart 7 for the Nintendo 3DS. So, last time we actually did completely done with everything but he forms of in Leaf Cup, and just like before, we did that pretty good of a run. And uh, today for this episode is the fact that we're about to be getting things started with the final cup in the game, and that will have to be the Lightning Cup. And as we said this before in the last video, we'll be selecting Mario for the grand finale of the Grand Prix department. And then after that, then we'll briefly show off the battle mode. And after battle mode, we're not going to show off too much of the actual options, to be honest. Because, well, um, you know, this is the only Mario Kart game, specifically the modern Mario Kart game, that does not feature a single player versus race. Which, even then... That's my only nitpicking with it, but either way though, let's just get this thing to it, so... And as to be expected, we're going to be selecting Mario for this last cup, so let's get this thing going. Originally it was going to be selecting buddy forms of Blackitude, but, uh... Probably in the forms of the Extras video or something like that, or possibly buddy forms of, uh... Uh, you know, during the likes of the Battle Cup, or in this case the Battle Stages or something like that. Probably so much more attention. So anyways though, and let's go ahead and use the gold glider, if we like to say so. So, it looks like the actual results are pretty mixed, like the speed is actually pretty good, acceleration is a bit off, and uh, the weight of it is actually pretty alright, decent enough. Handling is pretty alright, nothing amazing, but off-road on the other hand though is actually pretty good actually, even though slightly decent at best. So, anyways, let's get to it. And as we expected, we're going to be getting to the Lightning Cup. So the Lightning Cup actually contains uh, Wii Koopa Cape, uh, Nintendo GameCube from Mario Kart Double Dash, Dino Dino Jungle, DS Airship Fortress, and finally, SNES Rainbow Road. So, yeah, not only do we get one Rainbow Road, but also two Rainbow Roads in this one Mario Kart game. It wasn't until when we get to Mario Kart 8, well, I'm sure many people already know that Mario Kart 8 rather well, that uh, Mario Kart 8 slash Mario Kart 8 Deluxe features uh, three of them. So that's pretty insane. Could imagine if how the fact that in Mario Kart Tour will have as many of those Rainbow Roads from the past Mario Kart installments or something. But we don't know for surely. So obviously the first course in uh, Lightning Cup is the forms of Cooper Cape, which is a returning track by the forms of in Mario Kart Wii, originated in the Star Cup, so... Now, as far as I usually just imagine that, the hard of fact of the matter is though, is I'm not overly exactly a huge fan of this stage, although it's pretty cool at first, but uh, it just gets pretty tremendously tricky as far as Mario Kart Wii bal item balancing or something like that, or in this case rubber banding AI is concerned. However though, thankfully though, with uh, lesser amounts of players, this means that in the entire experience of the forms of Cooper Cape, uh, it should be a lot more easier this time around. Especially noticeable how the fact that there will be no longer going to be able to, you know, introduce into ourselves these electrical uh, um, things itself this time. So it's just pretty straightforward and then just, you know, just makes it a little bit more easier in comparison to the likes of how it does in the original Mario Kart Wii variation. So, that's a cool thing to know. So, yeah, that should be expected and stuff, so... So today was actually from the, uh, the 18th of uh, December in 2018, so we've got ourselves about... Uh, let's just say, for right about now, we've got about a week left until Christmas 2018, so... And of course, as promised you guys, although we're not exactly going to upload that thing up just yet when it comes to Christmas 2012, uh, for that specific installment just yet, because uh, obviously we need to finish up with uh, uh, Mario Kart 7 first, as far as the actual Let's Play is concerned, and uh, especially noticeable how the fact that Mario needs to still need to get back into Super Mario Odyssey. In fact, um, after Super Mario, uh, no, not what I was trying to try to say. Um, yeah, after when uh, we actually complete up with uh, Mario Kart 7, that we can able to move on to Super Mario Odyssey, which, uh, you know, Mario needs to still need to get back into that specific title. So, oh boy, we got ourselves two players coming to, uh, come towards us. Like the forms of, uh, you know, Metal Mario, and especially notable with uh, uh, Daisy as well. So, naturally speaking, that I believe we're actually doing pretty well and pretty nicely done as well, as far as I'm aware. But, uh, 
We'll see what happens there. It all depends if we actually did that pretty well or not. But hey, uh, Blaze says no blue spiny shell to be seen on the bottom screen so far. Yeah, as far as I can usually just say that, apart from the actual lightning strike which we did manage to get shrunk in. But that's okay though, because we sure installed them late, so... And uh, also not to mention, with the problems of the lack of uh, electric, uh, electric uh, obstacles they have to not worry about anymore. But uh, also by the forms about the fact that there's no need for trial and error and stuff like that. Although, there might be still some and, and some some trial and error uh, moments like that. But either way, though, it's no, nowhere near as like trial and error heavy as, uh, you know, the original counterparts. Do apologize by the forms of the tantrum, by the forms of the lack of uh, dialogue or speech or anything like that. Just because, well, there's not much else to really talk about. Alright, so the next course we have is the returning track from Mario Kart Double Dash, and that is the forms of Dino Dino Jungle, originated from the Special Cup. So, yeah, I'm really glad that that, uh, that stage makes it appear in the forms of Mario Kart 7's retro tracks department, because, well, after all, in Mario Kart Wii, we did manage to have ourselves DK Mountain, but now we have Dino Dino Jungle in Mario Kart 7, so... Uh, of course, you can no longer gonna get hit by the forms of the dino's legs, or in this case, you you will still get stomped by it. But uh, other than that, though, uh, I think this track is actually a lot easier than the forms of the original version as well, just because you don't have to worry about the forms of the slippery momentum and stuff, and uh, especially notice about how the fact that uh, I would say that the forms of uh, the actual track itself is a bit wider at first, well. I don't know why I truly say that, to be honest, but either way. Uh, and also, there's like uh, trick ramps that you have to now deal with right now. And uh, what's also helped is the fact that the actual Kaisers that you do need to worry about, but other than that, if they go off, then you can now finally perform a trick, especially noticeable with uh, the actual locks themselves, as, as well as for that, too. So. But again, a little bit of limitations when it comes to like, you can also take the alternative route if you want to take from down there, but I'm probably not going to recommend doing that, just because of how the fact that it will slow us down, so. And there's also another shortcut around here too, but it does require a mushroom in order to actually just, uh, uh, you know, speed things up for the dirt, you know, kind of like how it did in the original game, so. Yeah, everything else about this particular track is almost identical to the original version, except, well, a little bit more nicer lighting, and especially noticeable this is on the 3DS rather than on the Nintendo GameCube, even though uh, the visual style might be look exactly like Mario Kart Wii and Mario Kart Double Dash, but uh, on the handheld, so yeah, I think that you, that's the only things you can definitely notice the difference. So, uh, yeah, there's not much else you can really think about this for the time, but other than that though, yeah, there's not much else you can really say about the forms of the Lightning Cup in general, so and especially noticeable how the fact that, well, speaking of, you know how the fact that, uh, we've already mentioned about the forms of the Sonic the Hedgehog the movie next year. Oh god, what is it this time? Uh, you know how the fact that, uh, we did actually get ourselves our first teaser poster from about, uh, a couple of days ago. Well, now they actually put up a second poster in the actual movie poster. And, uh, now they did show up by the forms of your hairy legs. Oh god, why? I know it sounds a little bit more convenient to you though, Sonic, but either way though, I'm pretty sure you might actually look a little bit more horrendous look in your forms of the upcoming movie than the likes of you are right now. Yeah, but even then though, at least I take Sonic Boom some little credit to be able to actually make it a little bit more cartoony look rather than just become more likely realistic and stuff like that, where it's just like, um, uh, I don't know. I'll just confess it to myself about how horrendous I look from uh, the upcoming movie next year. Alright, here we go, on to the forms of the next course of uh, the Lightning Cup, and that's the forms of Airship Fortress, which is the returning track for the forms of a Mario Kart DS, originated from the Star Cup. So, I would say though that this version is a lot harder compared to the forms of the original Mario Kart DS version, in my opinion, just because, well, First of all, right from the start, is the fact that these bullet bells are now going to be shooting away faster this time around. And in addition to those kinds of things, uh, the multi miles they are pretty easy to avoid, don't get me wrong. But uh, it's just how the fact of the matter is, though, I don't know what I really saying. 
Anyways, though, we still got the actual uh, familiar cannonball uh, shooting uh, thing right there, which is always swell. And uh, also, we got ourselves a spiral staircase right from the start. Oh yeah, um, there's something I want to mention also, is the fact that, um, in addition to with the forms of the bullet bills that you cannot see on the actual map, as you can see right there, well, I don't think you've been able to see on the bottom screen, but I'm one of the ones I'm going to be talking about. But if you manage to able to see the bottom screen of the actual, uh, full map of, uh, you know, DS, uh, Airship Fortress, uh, you definitely notice there won't be showing up any of those bullet bills. In addition with those coins as well, which I don't think we actually mentioned about that, so... Yeah, it's just a matter of how the fact that you can able to grab as many of those coins as possible. So, yeah, that's the only solution that you can must consist. I don't know why we actually tossed that on, uh, the other side of the wall, but... Oh well, no big deal. Yeah, but apart from that though, aside from the actual difficulty with the forms of the actual bonsai bills that you have to avoid this time, or bullet, bullet bills to be exact, I'm not 100% sure, but either way though, yeah. Of course we got owned by the red, uh, blue shell of course, which I always despise the most. When it comes to Mario Kart XPD players and stuff like that, and wow, that was a very skilled shot for Metal Mario. And speaking of such, we got shocked by the lightning, even though we did so well with the forms of the actual course itself as well. Well, well, so far anyway, but it wasn't until when we get to the very end that, uh, it looks like Metal Mario is going to be breezing for this stage. Yeah, but I could assume that, well, as long as we have to worry about the body forms of the final track, any forms of in, uh, the actual Mario Kart 7 game, oh, oh. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, oh, shoot! The Metal Mario did beat us. Uh, if only the blue spiny shell wasn't a thing. Well, uh, oh well, no big deal. But I wish we, at least we are four points above from Metal Mario, but either way, though, that's just a little bit disappointing. Alright, here we go, folks. On to the true final track in new forms of in Mario Kart 7, and also the final course in Lightning Cup, and that is the returning of the SNES, or in this case, Super Nintendo, uh, counterpart of Rainbow Road. So, yeah, this is originated from Super Mario Kart for the Super Nintendo, and this is originated from the Special Cup. So, you know, the Special Cup that only requires if you manage to able to get to 100cc or 150cc, because, uh, you know how 50cc was actually going to be main its own thing, but it doesn't, so, yeah, you know, because it makes it up to the challenge. And it just makes this course a little bit more easier, but uh, the only things you need to worry about is the forms of the actual uh, corners themselves, or in this case, these little uh, rainbow reef versions of the swamps themselves, because as you can tell, these one, uh, rainbow versions of the swamps themselves is actually invincible, so even then, though, you can't really, uh, uh, you know, block by it, or in this case, essentially, you're gonna have to, like, uh, bypass those guys completely. Oh, really? Another blue shell in this entire run. Oh, wow, that red shell just missed us. <laughs> How about that? Yeah, but, hey, at least as far as I can usually just try to by that point, so... So yeah, there are some noticeable differences, although the music itself is pretty much almost identical to the likes of... Shoot. Stupid red shells. What the? What the hell? Wow, we're getting double on it by the forms of, uh, well, not only for ourselves, but also, uh, Metal Mario as well. So, yeah, that's interesting. But I digress. But we're almost done with this point for this, uh, point. So I'm hoping there won't be, uh, of course, there's gonna be a lightning strike in just a second. Yep. Because we can see that how the fact that Luigi did manage to hold up the forms of the actual, like, uh, the lightning item itself, so... Alright, so let's go and toss the green shell from behind us, and, uh, make sure we don't fall off, unless... we Oh! <laughs> uh, first of all, we're gonna fall off into the committed suit. What the? How did Koopa Trooper just catch up? I don't know, don't know exactly for sure, but... Hey, at least on the other hand, though, he did manage to catch up nonetheless. Yeah, I could assume so. So the final results of, uh, you know, the Lightning Cup in Mario Kart 7, so we have, uh, I would say Daisy, she's in, uh, third place, and, uh, Metal Mario, in his case, the clone of Mario, he was in, uh, second place, and number one, of course, is Mario himself, such as myself. 
Do you know what's kind of funny about the fact that Mario is going to be competing against with his, uh, uh, you know, the metal counterpart of himself? It does sort of feel a bit slightly similar to how the ones and how he does in Super Smash Bros. like the forms of one of the boss fights you have to deal with, well, specifically the N64 installment. But anyways, we got a two-star ranking, which is alright, but nothing outstanding or perfect or any, by any means, but hey, at least we've got that, so... Now, before we end off this video, because there is actually a staff credit sequence for this particular Mario Kart 7 game, and, uh, basically, it shows us about the fact that the actual montage of the forms of the actual, uh, gameplay footage of every single course of the game with a different camera angle, so, yeah, kind of like how we did the new forms of back in, uh, you know, in E3 2010, where they did manage to demonstrate uh, the Mario Kart game on the 3DS back in E3 2010, and same applies for E3 2011, except, well, you know, the game has been finally been released, and new forms of, uh, during in 2011, well, to be more specifically though, Sonic, um, in, during in December 2011, so, and I really cannot believe that this game is now 7 years old, oh, Jesus Christ, since we're in 2018 still, and, uh, by that time, when it gets to 2019, we've been especially noticeable in 2021. Oh my god, this game will be 10 years old that time. Yeah, I can't believe it's been shocking. Especially noticeable how the fact that time really do flies, doesn't it? Yeah, and, you know, you get the idea. So yeah, aside from, uh, the actual montage they've shown us, by the forms of the actual, uh, courses themselves, you know, kind of like how it did in a throwback to the forms of how it does it in, uh, What's to say, take for example, uh, Mario Kart 64, it also has one as well, and same applies for, uh, you know, Mario Kart Super Circuit for the Game Boy Advance. I don't know about Double Dash though, but not Mario Kart DS though, and, uh, maybe a little bit similar to Mario Kart Wii as well, but other than that though, that's all I can really say about it. Well, apart from the fact that it, uh, oh yeah, I forgot to mention about this particular mechanic here that, as you can see on this footage, that this shows us by the forms of the first person view. Uh, in order to actually activate that particular first person view, uh, mode, is that you have to press the directional pad up, that you, you can able to actually just, uh, uh, get into the first person view. But not just by the forms of the first person view, but you can actually use the motion controls or the gyroscope controls with this particular game, because yes, much like any forms of the ones in, uh, you know, in Mario Kart Wii, they actually go, uh, utilize the motion controls for the Wii Remote with the Wii Will, and especially noticeable with, uh, the Wii Remote and Nunchuck. Well, usually the Nunchuck is used for the actual analog stick, and, uh, that's what I can really think about. So either way, though, that's kind of like, you know, you get the idea. So, let's give our final thoughts of Mario Kart 7, shall we? Because I know for the fact that we actually did talk about this game for quite some time. So, overall, uh, this is pretty impressive when it comes to the forms of the actual, uh, you know, the continuation of the Mario Kart series once again, after the forms of a huge ex Okay, quick error right there, because as you expected, that iPhone, uh, memory storage has been full up, so... Yeah, I'm getting pretty sick of the forms of that specific system for these days. And it, even then, though, it does worry us about the forms of the latest, uh... 3DS Let's Plays coming up, including by the forms of the actual Game Boy Virtual Console stuff, but either way though, that's besides the point. Um, yeah, uh, the visuals do look very good, as far as the actual 3DS game is concerned, and, uh, the gameplay still looks very, very awesome even to this day, and, uh, they actually introduced something new to the table, like, for instance, you know, just, uh, drive underwater, and you can able to fly in the air, which is pretty cool, if you ask me, and, uh, and of course, there's no story to this game because, you know, it's just a racing game, so... And, uh, the soundtrack is pretty cool, actually, even though that the retro tracks returning, they almost sounds almost identical to the original counterparts, and, uh, the card combination, uh, system, as far as this is concerned, is actually a pretty welcoming addition, and, um, uh, that's all I can really think about with Mario Kart 7. Definitely one of the, uh greatest games that you can buy, or you can able to get, on your Nintendo 3DS, and even every nowadays, for those who live in North America, you can now actually get this game with the bundle with the new Nintendo 3, uh, 2DS XL. So, that should be pretty worth noting for. So, as you expected, as I said this before, this is the thank you for playing screen, that if you manage to able to complete everything, including mirror mode especially too, 
then uh, you can able to actually see this screenshot, which shows us uh, the rest of the actual uh, characters, including unlockable characters as well. But if you're first time playing the game, uh, it normally just shows off by the forms of the original eight starter characters, including your me as well. So that should be expected by this point from any Mario Kart uh, ending sequence, as far as I'm aware. So, with that being said, we are done with Grand Prix in the forms of in Mario Kart 7. So, with that being said, uh, join us next time of the forms of in Mario Kart 7 Let's Play is the fact that we're about to be showing you guys the battle mode of the game. So, see you guys next time. Which, obviously, there's only two battle mode options, which are Balloon Battle and Coin Runners, just like the ones in how it does in Mario Kart Wii, but with a different twist and turns or something like that, or maybe it's just pretty much the same. So, anyway, see you guys next time. Later, fellas.